Hey, I'm Bonita. How's everybody doing? Today I want to share a tutorial of how to make this cute fabric wallet. Let's begin. First, we will need these pieces. For more details like the supplies and measurements, please go to my blog post. The link is in the description box below. So after we cut the fabric, iron it so it looks neat. Then attach the fusible one by one to their partner, partner, like fusible A to fabric A, B to B, and so on. But for the A, only attach on the lining fabric. Attach the fusible, the shiny part to the fabric, then pressing it with iron for hmm, maybe 10 seconds each, just until it's attached. My iron setting is high or on the cotton setting. As for the card fabric part, fold it first, iron, then attach the fusible only on half side. We we'll layer this like this to make a place for the cards. Next, prepare the zipper. Open it halfway so that it's easier to sew later. Then put fabric B on the top of the zipper, right side facing right side. Then sew on the top like this. Do the same with fabric C. Next, open them and top stitch on the top of each fabric. After that, fold the C so that the bottom meet the bottom of B like this. Then top stitch on the top to keep it stay in place. Next, put the zipper back on the top of the lining A on one of the half side, right side, facing right side. Then sew it like this. Just use a little seal allowance. The purpose is just to make it stay in place. Now we want to make the card place. Put the first fabric E to the D, approximately 1.5 cm from the top of the D half side. Then sew it like this. Put the second E on top of the first one, 1.5 cm from the top and sew it. Do the same with the last one. After that, sew on the middle so that it has two separate sides. Next, fold it again and put it on top of the lining A, on the other side. Then sew it. Then 
next put the outer A on top of it. Right side facing right side. Then sew them all together. Now you can use bigger seam allowance so that the pretty seam is hidden. Don't forget to add an opening. After that, clip on each pointy end like this, so it's nice when we turn it inside out. Don't clip the seam. Now it's time to clip it inside out. Well, as you can see, my opening is not big enough, so I have a hard time. So I unstitch some of the stitch so that I have big enough opening for turning inside out. Yeah, finally it's turned inside out and just use a scissors to make the tip pointy. This is optional, but I want to make a flap and we'll put it here on the opening. The flap measurement is up to you. To make the flap, fold it in half and sew it like this. Leave an opening. Then turn it inside out and put it inside the wallet opening. Test it first to make sure how long we need it. Then use black stitch to close the wallet opening. I still snap buttons like this but you can use any fastening for example velcro. I also sew a bow because it won't be perfect without bow for me, hehe. <laughs> Alright, it's done! I love how cute it is, and so pleased of how it turned out. What do you think?